And finally tonight, one of the iconic scenes in Blunt County are the swinging wooden bridges that cross the Little River in Townsend. And 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us one of the main bridges is now a roadblock. We like the bridge here. It's a very important part of the community. In Steve Hall's backyard, a swinging span of wood and steel bridges his Dark Island neighborhood to the city limits of Townsend across the Little River. Anyone has access to the bridge. You know, it's on trip advisors, most important places to visit when you visit Townsend. I mean, people don't come from California to visit the bridge, but it does enhance the quality of what Townsend is all about. Floods washed away several swinging bridges in Townsend in 1994. So the Blunt County Highway Department found grant money to rebuild three of them in 1997 and got the grants because the bridges are tourist attractions that provide a connection to the past. And so there's a tremendous amount of history here. But on May 28th, this was no longer a bridge between city and county. It became a divide. Townsend police blocked the bridge and said it would stay that way until the Blunt County government decides its next course of action. They put the police tape and the two by fours so you can't really get across the bridge right now. The repairs are nothing major, just a few boards need replacing. The county's highway superintendent said the sticking point right now is it's unclear exactly who owns the bridge, who is liable for it, and who should pay to maintain it. So for now, it's off limits and might be torn down. I could not believe what I was hearing. It's an important structure here. It's a lifeline for this side of the community, particularly in emergencies. County highway superintendent says it's hard to move forward until the owner of the bridge is clearly identified. And he says he won't make any rash decisions one way or the other. But Hall's hopeful both sides can reconnect and build a bridge to a solution that saves an iconic landmark. In the bottom of my heart, Townsend and Blount County can do this. And we're not in Washington, D.C. We are a community, and there's no reason that this can't be solved. In Blount County, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. We'll see if they can do just that. The Blunt County Commission is holding a work session tonight. Steve Hall and other residents do plan to speak to the commission about the Dark Island Swinging Bridge, and we'll certainly keep you posted on that story. Todd, before.